Great. So this is one way how to use data view. However, there are multiple ways how to use the plugin and I would like to show one use case of mine and therefore I need to explain a little bit more. Mm. Here we used or we created a list regarding the information if there's a connection between files. However, DataView is also capable to make a list regarding other restrictions. You can also say, for example, create a list of all the files which have been created February, on February or before. And therefore, DataView uses the metadata of the files. And let me show you some metadata. So let's check out the vault again on our Google Drive. And for example, we have date modified, the size, the kind. This is all metadata. So data about the file itself. And we can also write our own metadata for the files. And therefore we need to make a YAML header, which can be done by this. We use in the very, very first line three dashes, and we close it by three dashes as well. And then we can write whatever we like. Um, for example, this. And now we can make a data view. Um, we make a list from type hello. Where type is hello. For example, if I make a YAML header here, and type hi, we will not... Where did I make the... Ah, here. We will not see it here, but we can write here or type is like hi. And now we see both. Great, and now I will change my template of my default node to this one. Like this. And I will explain what it does. For now I will clean up every node. I will just delete everything that was written there and use the template like this. 